Alright, welcome back everyone to another TechZen video. Uh, as you may know, my birthday passed two days ago and a couple of, I've been busy a couple of weeks ago because um, I'm on vacation and I'm still on vacation till August. And during those past couple of weeks, I managed to get Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition. And I forgot that was 2010, so damn it. But anyways, uh, and my mother got me this book on Visual Basic 2008. She happens to be an IT freak herself uh, because those days she used to have a lot of IT books but they're not really useful anymore. Visual Basic, Java, um, Four Dummies books, like that. So anyway, she got me a Visual Basic 2008 book and uh, I went through it and it's really, really useful. Uh, it covers pretty much everything you need to know on Visual Basic, uh, such as variables, arrays, and it even ha comes with a CD with project files, so that was really handy. And uh, I went through it, and I managed to learn a couple of more things than I knew. And that's how I managed to create my own official program, uh, which I'm going to be releasing it sometime later, because I'm not even done with it. I, I have to add a lot more things. And it's already 200 MB, can you believe it? Uh, but let me just show you what you get with it. So, uh, I was working on it now. So let's start debugging. Using a netbook is such a bad idea, but can't help it. There you go, splash screen. And there we go, this is the home screen. So you get the time, the date, and there's this nice little background here. You can actually change the background, you know, just right click on it, change wallpaper, the sunset beach, which is this one, abstract, which is this, and the Vista Ultimate wallpaper, right there. So I'm just gonna put it back. Okay, so currently I've added three exclusive uh, programs. One is Lost Worlds, I'm sure you know Lost Worlds, and I made a nice little autoplay menu. Now here's the neat thing. If you don't have Lost Worlds, don't worry. Click the play button and it says Lost Worlds is actually not installed or corrupted. Click the OK button to proceed with the installation. Click OK and the installer should load up. If I click cancel over there, something will go wrong. I don't know, the program gets stuck. So that's why I open it, cancel it. So you can see there's the installer. I'll just close this. And then uninstall works. Help, it doesn't work yet. I had to make a help. Uh, section over there. <coughs> Got a sew through or something, I have no idea. Okay, next up is give Windows XP a new look. Now I've turned it into a program to make life easier for you. So, uh, please select your package. What you need to do is select give Windows XP 1, 2, or Vista style. I'll select Vista. Then it'll ask what you want to change. Select what you want to change. Let's say Windows Vista theme. Uh, now what you get here, you get a preview window, I mean a picture, and you get the title, some description, and the enable button to load up the theme. Uh, you, you will also get a install program button when it's necessary, let me show you what I mean. I'll go to give Windows XP Noodle 1, login screen. So you get a preview of it, and you get an install program, because you will need an external program to install it, so, which is Logon Loader. So, Click install program to install logon loader and click the enable button to load up logon loader. Now the thing I'm not finished yet is under the Vista style. The only thing I'm not finished is applying certain preview pictures for it. The only ones I'm done with is the arrow flip effect and the Vista theme effect. The preview pictures. The rest I'm done. And the and the best part is that all of these uh, files come with the program so you don't really have to download download anything else so that's a good thing so let's give Windows XP a new look then the Sony Vegas templates this is my favorite one now this comes with <coughs> tutorials um, so it'll ask what do you want to make intros effects or others so let me select effects then it'll ask select your tutorial select what you want there's create a transparent screen laptop, security, camera effect, runescape captions, I'll select create a transparent screen laptop. There's a the title and there's the description. And the best part is 
all of the videos come with the program so you don't really have to go online and search up the video all of the videos are built in so create a transparent screen laptop if you want to watch the video just click on the video it's going to say connecting and there you go the video loads up and if I want to watch uh, RuneScape captions I'll play it there we go what's even better is that the project files come with it as well so you don't have to make them on your own they are ready made project files ready made for you I just want to make life easy for you because you guys keep asking me can you make this intro for me can you make this intro for me I'm really sick of that so I'm just gonna make the project files and give it to you and here are some tutorials that come with the program that I haven't uploaded yet under intros there is a third how to create a pro intro in Sony Vegas 3 now that one I think I'll just finish the program and I'll let you see for yourself and on the others there are two more tutorials one I'll upload soon one is RAM preview and the other one is keyframe interpolation now I'll explain those in the future okay so that's about it for the Sony Vegas template section so this is my favorite part of the program As for Oh god, something wrong with my throat today. As for the others, uh, there is a run section also, type program to run. So if I were to type chrome.exe and I'll click go, it will load up Google Chrome. Just wait a second. There we go. Otherwise, if you can't find the program, let's say, bah, something. Cannot find the file specified. And what else do you get? Under utilities, you can easily open programs that you already have. Let's say on the internet browsers, you can open up Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, Safari. Then on the media players, you can open up Media Center, Media Player, and iTunes. And on the word editing, you can open up something I created called QuickPad, which is something that you can use very quickly. You can type, you can change the font, you can change the color, and you can save it. I'm trying to create the open function then Microsoft Word WordPad I prefer this instead of notepad because you can format and everything and the thing is if you don't have the program it should give you a brief message I think okay I didn't really do that yet I'm still working on that like if you have not installed Firefox it should give you a message box saying please install Firefox and then try again later like that so this is pretty much half of the program. There's some thing. Uh, so there's some some more features I'm gonna add later. As for now, that's it. So, what do you guys think? Um, uh, if you can, you guys can post your comments at the bottom and tell me what you think. Want more features to add? Give me a request. That will make my life so much easier. So, um, give me a request, and I'll try to add them in the program. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why subscribe for more? So thanks for watching, and have a great day.